In just the last few weeks, we have witnessed some tap dancing by this board of commissioners worthy of a scene from Chicago. Harry appears to operate on the premise that if you repeat something often enough, everyone will believe it, and even though video records, public records, and even the county's own attorney present conflicting evidence, nothing stops him from spinning his tail. Well, Not even the other you know, I've thought about this a lot. I, um, Bobby told me about it Friday and uh, thought about it over the weekend. And I think that it, in many ways, putting public comment first rather than at the very end of a meeting kind of honors public comment. But secondly, wait, now, folks, you know, there's something before I answer Phil that I think is really important. We can all disagree with each other about politics, about stands, about where we're coming from. But I'm not going to buy into a lack of civility anymore among us on discourse. You know, one thing, Phil's always been wonderful about that. I mean, he brings his comments, and sometimes they're pretty pointed. But he always goes out of his way to be respectful to folks. And not, not Bob or Fred or I, but just the institution of government. You know, I grew up thinking it was pretty special. Yeah, it's broken in many ways. But the reason I'm a part of it is because I think we can change it and change the parts that are broken. And to do that, I think we have to be civil to each other. I mean, I've always tried to be as respectful as I can of everybody that comes in front of this body because I feel that's my duty as a commissioner. And I think it's really important that, you know, I'm, I'm only here for another nine months or so. But while I'm here, I'm going to make sure that we don't buy into all the hatred at talk radio and the lack of civility that goes on in government nowadays because I think we can make a difference if we work together. We may just disagree the heck out of, you know, either side of the spectrum. But we don't have to be mean to each other. We don't have to be vicious to each other. We don't have to belittle each other. Harry made a lot of noise at the recent VOC meeting about civility and respect. But respect is a two-way street, and this commission, and Perry in particular, should expect downright contempt when they waste the public's time with falsehoods. So I respect the heck out of everyone who comes to talk to this body. I think it's important. I think everybody has a valid point. Let's work together. Let's work together. I, I don't, I do not think that our future is behind us. But I will answer your question, Phil, because you deserve it. I think, number one, it's important to honor public comment regardless of where it is on the agenda. The one thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit, and then perhaps Commissioner Messerly can explain that to me and to Bob and to the public, is it's my understanding with this new format where we put public comments first, that if any one of us as commissioners brings up an issue that people aren't familiar with or we add an agenda item or it changes the landscape, public, it's open for the public to comment. Is that is that correct? Any two of us can agree to take extra comment. Absolutely. Yeah. Does my th three minutes start now? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Don't ask any questions. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, what I what I would like to say is, I think, <coughs> regardless of what you say, you know, uh, excuses are sort of like butts. Everybody's got one of them, and uh, I don't think for a minute that. Uh, I hate to say what I'm going to say. I don't believe what Fred said is true while we uh, put the comments first. I think it's su to su su suppress the speech and the topic because we. this is a little bit different than the court or anywhere else. You're dealing with the people. We should have be able to comment on any of this stuff you guys are proving without having two votes. When you got two votes, it's just like you've been doing anyway. You, you, you uh, everybody in here would be that's what you want to say, but it means nothing. And this is the same thing Adolf Hitler never done back in the 30s. You know, uh, they suppressed the speech and uh, and the topic of the speech and everything else. And where where did we end up? Saying a taxpaying resident of the North Bend, uh, my personal belief is that this is an opportunity to suppress free speech uh, by making this switch. Uh, <clears throat> Kim, you just spoke about uh, about the uh, uh, carbon credit mm -hmm. process that uh, that you just or that uh, 
didn't really pan out. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so we looked the other way because you were looking out for the best interest of the people, mm -hmm. the, the citizens of Coos County. So uh, where was that when, uh, when we talked about, and this has been something that I've been dealing with since uh, early 2009, where was that interest when we talked about uh, the numbers that have dropped off since 2009 with uh, waste connections bringing garbage to uh, Coos County solid waste? Those numbers, if you, uh, if you bring them down to just the last numbers that were just the last fiscal year, amount to nearly $700,000, and I believe those numbers are going to be even lower this year. So we've lost, the citizens of Coos County have lost nearly a million dollars, and possibly more than a million dollars from uh, waste connections. And uh, then the last, uh, at the last meeting, I believe you said uh, uh, that that was it. We're done with them. We're going to send them a letter of compliance. What you did was send them a letter of admission that uh, you recognize that, the, uh, that they have been uh, under, <coughs> under supply and by in excess. You folks released a uh, press release just uh, right after you had stated that, that, uh, that you had all agreed to send them a letter of compliance. And again, it's an admission that they aren't feeding us the, the, the numbers. But I, I don't mean to interrupt they're, you, they're Randy. Past, they're, you know, this was citizen comments. Well, I, I thought that's kind of good because we can kind of have a free flow. I, I'm not going to yeah. restrict you at all, Randy. I, I'm not in any way. All right, well, then let me finish this one point. You have, uh, uh, again, you stated that, that this was going to be a, a letter of compliance, and then you turned around and awarded them the contract because. Uh, they weren't punished, they were rewarded. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> um, what I said, and I actually uh, uh, went back uh, with Bobby and reviewed everything I said word for word, and, and what I said was that we were going to formally address in writing the concerns that the county had about the numbers. We had had verbal discussions, and it was time to basically give notice that we were going to formally address those issues in writing, which is what we did, and that's one of the reasons why we released the letter. Well, the county was ever made responsible for tracking compliance with its provisions. Why aren't you looking into that and saying, you know, we issue? They are being put on notice as soon as this board meeting adjourns. County Council is addressing a letter to them that's going to specifically state exactly what you're talking about, just so you folks know position now where we're uh, we're calling the curtain on this one so there's a there is a there is a supreme perry has been caught trying to turn yard debris into salad before now that his past statements are catching up to him he turns again to offense and again employs a technique of making unwitting accomplices out of innocent bystanders on tuesday he included engineers lawyers accountants and county employees from solid waste to the treasury department none of which were present to correct his assertions. Perry even tore into Randy Saney, who has been attending VOC meetings long before anyone knew who Perry was, accusing him of campaigning against him, Perry, because of comments I have made regarding his incompetence and mismanagement, which he wrongly attributed to Saney. Council, outside council, engineers, people that are involved in this directly, because I am not an engineering expert by any sense of the word. And I'm also not a legal expert. So I take the time to talk to all of these people, including our treasurer, so we can figure out what funds are involved, how general funds played into this. So if I am making uninformed or deliberately intentioned wrongful decisions, that means that everybody I talk to is also doing the same thing, and that is not the case. We have people who truly care about the citizens of Coos County and the viability of this facility for the future, and that's how I base my decisions. Now, it seems to me that you have decided, even though I am not running for office, that you are running against me, and I have not responded to any of that. But if that is your intention, I'll gladly accept that, even though I'm not running for any office. And we can engage in political debate about the office. But I didn't think that was your intention. I thought you were running not against me, but for the citizens of Coos County. 
but everything I've done as far as decision making, and trust me, from the day you brought me those figures, I've taken a hard look at them. And a big part, there was a little conversation we had about civility. And Okay, let's move forward. If you want to Honest Jay, visit, I, I think on, it's wonderful outside, you're please. here, Jay, but... Okay. So all I was saying, Randy, is that all the decisions that I've made, once again, I've been really clear about I am not... I want to try and always find the best route and the best solution for people. That doesn't mean walking in with a sledgehammer most of the time. It means identifying the problem, seeing if there is a way to correct the problem, and moving forward. And that's what I've tried to do. When the waste numbers were brought to me, and yes, you're the one who brought them, and you did some fine work on putting those numbers together. There's a lot of things that came into play in addressing those numbers. What's our legal standing? What's our potential to correct it? What's our potential to mitigate the impact? Those are all things that we've been working on. I think it came to the point where we realized after everything we've done to work on this that we needed to detail our concerns directly in a letter, which is what we did. Now what that's going to lead to next could be an audit, I don't know, but it's on the table. It's on the table formally. That is what I said we would do at that meeting. I'd be happy to get you a transcript of the meeting, but that is how I detailed it. That's what we're doing. That is how you move forward in a positive way to correct problems. Are you the liaison to solid waste? Yes, I am. That's why my that's why my comments were there. Um, I want to talk about solid waste. I want to know um, why this money is not being pursued. Um, you've talked about talking to engineers and outside counsel and so forth. Um, but from our perspective, we see it that there's <coughs> seven hundred and fifty to a million dollars or more. Um, Four hundred and twenty odd thousand dollars lost in one 12 month, 12 month period. You've said, Fred, that this uh, department is losing twenty five thousand dollars a month in revenue. Twelve months into four twenty is thirty five thousand dollars a month. So, all attributable to one hauler. I'd like to know why you are not enforcing this. I think you have a fiduciary responsibility to protect this asset and to follow through. I think what you're doing now is non-feasance at best, malfeasance maybe, I don't know. Um, but I think it's, um, uh, I want an explanation. Why are you not enforcing this agreement? Well, I don't know how to say it any other way than the way I've been saying it, and that is that I chose to pursue this in the most positive way possible, to look at the numbers. Once again, it's not that easy to totally track what's coming from cities, what's coming from counties, how it works, how it relates to the state. We've been getting to the bottom of the issues on this. I mean, As I've said in many work sessions, we're well aware of it, and the board had made a decision not to. So. I mean, we're also finding out the DEQ is doing some tracking above and beyond what we're doing, which is most helpful to us. I think you review everything, you work with people, you lay your cards on the table, you be up front, and you try and get a solution. If you can't get a solution that way, then every single other option is available to you, including revoking contracts. It's not the way I operate to hit people in the face with the sledgehammer when I walk in the door. I don't think that benefits the county, I don't think that benefits anybody in this room, and I don't think it benefits any of the parties involved. I think the way that we've moved forward is to try and be very positive, exhausting positive solutions than we have every other solution at our disposal, Mary. So, so enforcing an existing contract, how is that a negative solution? I didn't say it was a negative. I said it all goes about how you go about doing it. I know that there are some people who are litigious. They like to sue. They like to file charges. That's how they move forward. It is not how I roll. It's not how I Nobody's function as commissioner. Nobody's talking about litigation. They're just talking about enforcement. No, I said there are some people who like to do that. Well, you have not answered my question. This board, all three of you, are, are complicit in this uh, Nonfeasance. We are complicit in protecting the citizens of Coos County and trying to work for them. And that's what we've been doing. And, you know, I'm going to have some commissioners' comments about the state of solid waste at the end of the meeting. And uh, I think that folks will find that very interesting. 
All right. Well, I don't have an answer. Um, and I hope that the public will push for an answer. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Groans, Thanks. sighs, gasps, and guffaws are uncivil, according to Perry. Dishonesty, though, that is perfectly acceptable. 